Texas is about to begin phase 1C. It's for all Texans 50 and older and this means people between the age of 50 and 64 will gain access to the vaccine. Texas has 5 million people roughly in that age group but already a million of them have already been vaccinated. KPRC 2's Keith Garvin live at the medical center tonight with more information about the statewide expansion. Keith. Dominique, Chris, with vaccine production being ramped up and a third vaccine on the horizon, the state of Texas felt it was time to make this move. The Department of State Health Services announced today that starting Monday, people ages 50 to 64 will be eligible for the COVID vaccine. The move was recommended by the Expert Vaccine Allocation Panel, or EVAP, which told KPRC2 News that they felt really strongly that it was critical to protect those at most risk of hospitalization or of dying. More than 93% of fatalities associated with COVID-19 in Texas have been in people 50 and older. Overall, I, I think it's a great thing. Dr. Prathit Kulkarni is an assistant professor of medicine in infectious diseases at Baylor College of Medicine. Kulkarni says adding the 50 to 64 year olds will make nearly half of the state's population eligible for vaccination. That particular age group has the second highest risk for COVID after those 75 and older. The major risk factors for a bad outcome from catching COVID-19 are a really age and then underlying uh, medical conditions. Anyone in that age group will be eligible for COVID vaccination. Kulkarni predicts with increased vaccine production and the onset of three vaccines, other groups could soon be added. I'm very hopeful over the next um, several weeks uh, to next uh, couple of months, uh, potentially the entire population uh, would be eligible. Yeah, we have heard from the city of Houston, from Fort Bend County, and also Brazoria County. The city of Houston and Brazoria County, or rather Fort Bend County, they both say that they will be ready to add that 50 to 64 group starting on Monday. And Brazoria County says it will be ready to do the same once more vaccine becomes available. Reporting live from the Texas Medical Center, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. And Keith, we are